Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday and welcome back to home learning. So as you I hope you have listened to already, you know that our story is the very hungry caterpillar. I would love if you haven't listened to Miss Houston reading the story to pause this video and go and listen to me reading the story because you're going to need this today because we are going to be putting the story in order. OK, and if you have listened to it, let's go to our lesson. OK, we're going to start with our do now. Can you spot the adjectives? Are they correct? Right, let's have a little look. The caterpillar was green and happy. Let's read it again. The caterpillar was green and happy. First of all, we need to figure out what was Miss Houston describing? So I'm not looking for the adjectives yet. What was I describing? A caterpillar, excellent. And what were my two adjectives? Green and happy. Let's check if you were correct about that part. Excellent work, you, you were correct. Green and happy. And let's have a little look at our caterpillar. Was he green and was he happy? Yeah, I think so. Good job. OK, now I'm going to be playing a little bit of music for you. So I'm going to bring you back here. And what I want you to do is close your eyes now for maybe the next 20 to 30 seconds. Close your eyes. I want to play this music for you. And I want you to have a little bit of a think. What do you think about when you hear the music? What do you see in your mind? Do you picture a sort of a weather or a time of the year? And no answers are wrong here because it's just how you think, how you feel. So I'm going to share the music now so you can close your eyes and listen carefully. Close your eyes. when you were listening to that music. For me, I'm going to let you know what I felt. I felt like it was really happy music. I felt like it was really positive and it reminded me of really, really early morning and the sun rising up. I was thinking maybe it was springtime and there were some beautiful flowers coming out of their buds and I saw maybe little lambs prancing in the fields and bunny rabbits. Yeah, it really reminds me of springtime. I'm not sure about you boys and girls. Maybe you'd like to share your answers with your teacher at um, afternoon briefings later on today. But yeah, I really enjoy that piece of music. I think it's so lovely and um, really positive and nice. And hopefully um, you enjoyed it too. So I'm going to bring you to back to our lesson now. And our our high frequency word of the week was was w a s was. Oh, if we were spelling that really, we would think there's a z in there, but it's just like is, and this s makes a z sound. So 
a high frequency word is was. Your turn. Was. 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 Excellent. My sentence is the caterpillar was green. Your turn. Super, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds now to come up with your own was sentence for me. Super sentences, excellent, well done. So, today we are learning to sequence a story and of course our story is the very hungry caterpillar. To be successful, you need to know that sequence, so to, to sequence something, is to put it in order. Um, you're going to use Miss Houston's story map to find the order, and you're going to try and read the story in the right order for me, or describe, retell the story even, in the right order. Um, hey, why don't we use our ordinal vocab that we learned before half term, to put the story in order. So remember our ordinal words, first, next, then, we can do after that, um, finally, at the end, things like that, okay? So we need to, rem this is important because as you know in this story, it mentions the days of the week. So let's go through our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Excellent. Let's go again. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One more time and then you're going to do it by yourself. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Excellent. Now it is your turn. I'll point to them and you can say the day of the week. So we're starting with Sunday. Off you go. Excellent job. Well done. Give yourselves a hip, hip, hooray. Well done, reception. Okay, our star sentence. This is the same sentence as we had before half term. So, ordinal words put things in order. Your turn. Super. Ordinal words put things in order. Excellent work. So your task for today is try and put this story in order. Retell the story. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to model. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And then you're going to do it. OK, so there's no task sheet today. This is an oral language lesson. OK, so Miss Houston's going to show you how you really should be doing it. OK, so. In the beginning of the story, you could also say firstly. In the beginning of the story, there was a little egg on a leaf. And this little egg turned into a caterpillar. This little caterpillar was very hungry. On Monday, the caterpillar ate one whole apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, and he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate five oranges. And guess what? He was still hungry. On sa Saturday, he ate lots of different things, like a lollipop 
a piece of pie, one sausage, a cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And then he had a big tummy ache. On Sunday, he ate one big leaf. He felt much better. Next, he turned into a big fat caterpillar. He no longer was a little tiny caterpillar, sure he wasn't. Then he built a small house called a cocoon and he stayed in this cocoon for two whole weeks. Then he nibbled a little hole out of the cocoon and finally or last he turned into a beautiful butterfly. The end. So that is just how you guys can reenact it and uh, retell it. And remember, you can use different words to Miss Houston. You can say firstly, in the beginning, at the start. You can use then, next, after that. But I would love to hear some original words. Now, I need a little bit of help, okay? Miss Houston is very silly and she has gotten a little bit confused. Can you tell me how to put this story in the correct order? Hmm. So what happened first? You can point to the picture now and show me which one I should put in the first box. Excellent. First, he was a little egg on a leaf. Good job. I'll try and make that a bit bigger. There we go. Now, after that, he turned into a little caterpillar and he was very hungry. Which picture will I put next? The fruit. Excellent. So on Monday, he ate an apple. Tuesday, his pears. Wednesday, his plums. Thursday, strawberries. Friday, his oranges. And what happened then? Remember, well, I know we're just um, leaving out Saturday, but what happens after that? He turns into a very fat caterpillar, no longer. Oh no, Miss Houston, you're wrong. He did not, because on Sunday he ate something. The leaf. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I have you boys and girls to correct me. Excellent. So he ate through a leaf. Then he turned into a big fat caterpillar. Excellent. Excellent. And then after that, he grew into a cocoon. And after he grew into a cocoon, he was a beautiful butterfly. Excellent work. Well done. Now, have a little look here. I've mixed the whole story up and I need you to put it into the right order for me. So, what is our first picture? Tell me when to stop. Excellent work. So I'm gonna pop this as my first picture. First, he was a little egg. Then he turned into a very hungry caterpillar and he ate through lots of fruit. Then he ate a leaf. Good job. Next, he turned into a fat caterpillar. After that, he built a home like a little cocoon. And then he, at the end, he finally was a beautiful butterfly. And that is our lesson today. So I've uploaded a story map, but if you want, I'm going to leave the slide on my first slide here. And you can use this slide today to help you retell the story using ordinal words. OK, so um, that is your your task for today is to retell our story. So you don't have to do any writing. You can retell the story to an adult, to your mommy or your daddy or anyone who's at home and retell what happens in the story using ordinal words. OK, see if you can do it. I'm sure you can. So pause the screen on this. Um, picture now and um, off you go and use our ordinal words to retell the story. Bye!
Bye. Well done, boys and girls. Super work.